the Witch Potion and Spell Bottles. And this is just a really fun class. And it's showing you some of the things that we have around us that you can use to turn into fun and decorative items for Halloween. And no, I haven't been sitting around just drinking wine to get ready for class. We've had a few people help us collect all those, and, and I helped with one or two, but that's okay. We won't tell anybody. Now, a lot of them will come clear, and a lot of them will come colored. Now, I'm going to use the green one today, and the big ones, you've got to think about bigger items, so be careful with the big ones because they're harder to fill up. And we want to put all kinds of fun things in these, but let's start with this. And let's take our sponge, and I'm going to take some acrylic paint, and I'm going to sponge black here and there to kind of make it look old. And to kind of make it kind of rusty, or <laughs> has it run away? It's the fun part about live videos. So it looks like it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. You want your spongy light, you don't want it real dark. You don't want it solid, you just kind of want it here and there. If you get too much on it, come back in with your clean side and take some of it off. Now if you were putting color under it first, do the color first. And we're going to talk about color in a minute here too, because we're going to cover color our stand. bit more up here at the top but just to give it like I said kind of a rustic old look make sure you don't have uh, some stripes there you had a little bit more stripes there and not so solid that you can't see through it we want to be able to see through our bottle now I'm going to take a candle stand and of course I picked it up at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to clean it off with alcohol ink. Excuse me, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and then we're going to put our alcohol inks on it. <laughs> and I'm going to use this for my stand on my bottle to elevate it higher. I wouldn't go much bigger than a bottle with this when you're using a stand because you don't want them to have it top heavy or anything like this. I do have a stand on my one bottle here. And on the bigger one, I didn't use the stand, but it helps elevate it. It gives you some height, and I think it really helps the elegance of the design as well. So I'm going to be using black alcohol inks, and you can find those at your stamp booking section or craft store. If you can't, you have Blue Arts excuse me, bluewhaleandarts.com. I might not be saying that correctly. I'll put it on at the end of the video so that you can find that. And also Giraffe Slash Bob and Cherry Briscoe. And what's really nice about that is you can buy them individually there. Otherwise, they come in a three-pack. Now, this one, we just want the black. You also could use, if you were able to, do that. Use Maj Podge and put your color in it as well. Make sure you use an old brush. You do not want to use anything that's good because you're just going to stain your brush really, really bad. You can see that I did the inside as well as the outside. That's to help darken it up. You also could do the green. You could do the Halloween colors, orange and purple. This one was actually wild plum. It was kind of a pinkish purple. I like Halloween because we get to use all the bright, rich colors. I think that's probably one of my biggest loves about the season. It's all the colors that we normally don't use. We get to use this time of season. And again, I'm going to paint the inside. So it'll be darker 
on the outside and we'll get done with it. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, it can be streaky, that's fine because you want it to look old. And you could even have done, come in here and just use some of that on your bottle too. It's going to be a little bit different look than what the paint we used. So we're going to let that dry. You've got them really blotchy, but that's good. And I'm going to set those couple things down. I've had so many things to put on this video that we've kind of had to do it in shifts. Now, once your paint is dry, I use the stick on blood that they have for the window clings on that. But I'm going to show you how to draw a little bit of blood. We're going to have it dripping from the top. And all I am using is my permanent marker in red, of course. And I'm just making those drips. You want them different lengths. Just coming down from the top of that jar or bottle, excuse me. I'm going to try a wider one here. See if that works a little bit better. No, I think our little one works better. Not the fine tip one or you'll be here all day. For some reason, when you're working with permanent markers, there's always one direction that they go on better than the others. And I'm not on the glass, and I'm not sure why, but when you find that, stick with it. And we're going to go all the way around the top. Now the, the stick-on ones were really fun, but they are really sticky and you don't get past that. So alright, we've got that on. And then I like a metallic kind of pin on that, but I think instead of doing the metallic like I wrote with these, I'm going to try black this time. And I'm also going to take my square templates. This is my own product. I have all kinds of shapes. Check out my website at miriamjoy.com. And we're going to make mm -hmm. our label kind of thing here on our bottle. So I kind of know what I want to say. So I'm going to do Bells. And I'm just going to use a sign instead. Potions. And I'm going to keep the letters a little bit more spread out than I normally would. And then I'm going to make a border using this already. And I'm going to add curly cues to that design. So I'm kind of meeting in each corner. And so this one's going to go this direction. And the metallics may work a little bit better for you, the metallic pins. I just wanted to see what black would do on here as well. So this is going to kind of look like a label. Another thing you could do is float color as well around the edges to make it look more like a label. I do have a video on how to float color and that would be acrylic color. Now there is no right or wrong on this. 
just however you kind of see it. So I'm just going to darken this up just a tad on some of these. We'll take this off and I'll show you what we've got in just a minute. The only thing I'd make sure that your writing is big enough because we're going to come over with our glue gun. And I found that you needed the writing underneath because what you're going to do is just kind of show that once you put the glue gun on it. And you can write whatever you want to put in your bottle. We'll talk about what we put in our bottle in a minute, but bat wings, lizard tails, um, you could put feathers in. I do have a red feather in here. So there's all kinds of fun things that you have. So see we have our spill and potions bottle. And just by holding that template in place, that made that job really, really easy. The one thing you do need to be a little bit concerned about is your line, your crease down your bottles where they meet, make sure that that is not in the middle of your design. So now we're going to take our glue gun and it's on low temp setting. And we're just going to go over everything that we have put on our bottle. So on our dripping blood, that's going to give it texture and make it look, or whatever's dripping from the top. And the more color you have on that, the better it's going to pick it up and the better it's going to look. Now I'm not worried about my tails, but when you get down to the bottom here, we're going to do our tails more. Now see how that kind of shows the red up and it kind of gives it a neat effect. So you could even come down further with that if you wanted to instead of keeping it just up at the top. That may really look cool. So now we're going to come and we're going to start at the top. And part of this, I'm going to keep my webs. I'm going to pull them up and I'm going to pull them down. They're going to be part of my bottle. So I'm going to go and every time I end, I'm going to pull that spider web and try and get it onto the bottle. So one time you want to kind of keep all of your spider webs. Usually we're trying to get rid of them all. And I hate spider webs. That's <laughs> one of my hardest things when I'm crafting. Okay, so we've got that side done. Now we'll see if we think this shows up better than the metallic or not. Each thing gives it a different look. It's kind of what you have. I always tell you, use what you have, first of all. Okay, so now let's start on our spills. And don't worry about getting it perfect on this. This is not supposed to be perfect. This is supposed to look spooky and like it's been hanging around a thousand years. So. Do not try and make this perfect in any shape or form. And that's why we wrote underneath it first, because that's our base. So now we're moved on to our end. And I'm going to start pulling it down. So this way, with all the spider webs, it makes it look like it's been sitting on the shelf. You also could put some colored water in it. I've done that and float some eyeballs or different things. Now the one thing that we're going to have to start talking about, I did some with the jars like this, just regular like canning jars, and that is fine. And then I added some blue water, or whatever color water you wanted. And you can decorate the top of the lid. Now with those, that has a little wider opening, so you could put bigger items in. 
like the eyeballs or body parts or different things like that. So that would give you a whole other thing. But on the wine bottles, you're limited to how big the lid is. So we're going to work on filling the bottle up with very few items. Okay, we have our spells and potions. And I think I really do like that it shows up. It shows up pretty well. <laughs> Get some of these items off the table here. Work a little bit. Now what I took was they have like the spooky claws or not sure what they're quite called but they're supposed to look real spooky and really old and everything and again I found it at the Dollar Tree in the Halloween section and this helps fill up the bottle. It serves several purposes here. And I have been using this one for several things now, so I've used quite a bit of this. And I still haven't ran out. So I want this all the way to, from the bottom to the top. And I'm going to show you why we're going to use this. This helps fill out the bottle. It gives it a spooky look, but then we also can attach critters to it that go down, and that way it kind of fills out our little uh, potions. There's a bunch of little critters that you can get. I've used a lot of the, the black ones. You could do uh, bat wings and get the bats in there. Now, you've got to make sure that they will fit through that opening. If they don't, you've got to find some different ones. I had these little spooks, and I can because I'll squish forward, and I cut this little part out here, and they are really kind of spooky in there and give it a kind of chill effect, so I really like the little spooks. Now, on this one, I'm going to use, maybe we'll use a spook, but I'm going to use snakes. And snakes are not my favorite thing. But see how we're going to kind of put them here and there and get them hung up in this so they don't all fall to the bottom and then we will lower them into the jar and I think I am going to try see if I can get one of these spook guys in here and these are usually 97 cents and they have usually have all of the different critters in them. You can use the spiders if you want. You could call a potion snake tails or, you know, different things. Don't get stuck with just thinking about one thing. So we've got to get this guy all laced up in here. Now remember we still have got to get this into the jar. So we want to make sure in here good all right now I think I'm gonna try see if I can get a couple to stand up on the side we'll leave him there for now and we're gonna start with our bottom of this and we're gonna start sticking it in You don't want this so wrapped around these items that they don't show up either. Now on the one with the lights, come on snake in there for me. Get the spook little face in here. I'm sure you guys could come up with all kinds of cute little names for all of these potion bottles. Man, I've really got him squished in here. But you can see how we're starting to fill that bottle out. 
Now you also can come in, once we get that kind of pushed down, and add some more from the top. I kind of left a piece of this hanging over. It's starting to fill out, hanging over, and I used my little skeletons, and I pulled their legs off. There were four for these at the Dollar Tree. I'm using them in a lot of products this year, and I made them kind of like my cork. And what we're going to do is we're just going to trim off that bottom part of him. Let's cut that off and just stick him in like he was the bottle cork so that he would be sitting on top kind of guarding your bottle. <coughs> so I'm going to E6000 this guy onto our bottle and he is going to be done once he is glued and E6000 is our glue of choice when we're gluing glass to glass and things like that. That is an item you can find on our website at maryandjoy.com. Now I'm going to walk you through this guy. He was a, um, not a clear bottle. He had a white haze to him. And I covered him with black alcohol inks. And then I took the little Halloween lights at Dollar Tree. And I stuck them in our little netting through the lights and then I put them in. Now I do have the cord running off the back and if you had three bottles you could kind of tuck that in. Now I did not want to put anything at the top because you need to be concerned about the heat so be very cautious when using the light like that with everything. You want to be very careful. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on that. But we have that color and that looks really really cool and I like that. So we're just going to add our third potion bottle and I have set these inside a Halloween wreath and you could use a grapevine wreath and paint it black but this just gives you a real cool table kind of setting. Now see these little spooks I glued on the outside this actually was a glass bottle but it had a little bit of an emblem on the outside and we just covered those up with our little spooks, but it really made that neat as well. We're going to turn the lights off and kind of show you what that looks like a little bit better. So you can see how much the light really adds to that. And also how you can kind of start to see through the other bottles as well. So that is our little potions and spells bottle. And we hoped you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making that. You'll probably see me do a few more of those before Halloween is over just because I'm having fun doing it. And thank you for joining me today and God bless. Mm -hmm.